Hello my silly cycles, it's ya boy Zionic Blader, and in this video I will be ranking every cycloid released in Bakugan Legends from worst to best. I will be ranking them by their overall competitive viability in the Bakugan Pro TCG. But enough talk, let's get on with the list. At number 2, we have Heos Cycloid. This Bakugan has a nice core lineup of Magic Shield and Green Fist. Magic Shields are great to have due to them giving the highest boost in B power in the game. Chaos Cycloid has a stat line of 600 B power and 3 damage, as well as the effect of gaining 400 B power and 4 damage when on a green fist. Just by itself, you're gonna want to focus on damage. When on the plus 3 damage boosting green fist, Chaos Cycloid will reach the 10 damage minimum for a highest damage wins play. If you want to put in some more effort and go for B power, first roll onto a plus 650 B power boosting magic shield which will get Chaos Cycloid to 1250 B power. Then use an action card that allows you to grab a core from the field. Luckily, the Chaos faction has a few of these, specifically Mega Punch which is the cheapest and lets you grab any green fist. So, with that effect, get the plus 150 B power plus 2 damage boosting Green Fist, and on top of the effect boost, Chaos Cycloid will be at a spicy 1800 B power and 9 damage, which is pretty good for an only 1 energy investment. And at number 1 we have Pyrus Cycloid. This Bakugan has a nice core lineup of Green Fist and Fire Fist. Fire Fists are good to have due to them giving the highest boost of damage in the game. Pyrus Cycloid has a stat line of 300 B power and 8 damage, as well as 2 effects when opening on either a Fire Fist or Green Fist. When opening on a Fire Fist, Pyrus Cycloid can add an additional core from the field onto itself. When opening on a Green Fist, Pyrus Cycloid can remove an opposing Bakugan's core. This allows you to use Pyrocycloid in two possible ways. First is as a core manipulator. However, it's probably not really for the best since when on the plus 150 B power green fist, Pyrocycloid is only at 450, making it vulnerable to many Bakugan even when their cores are removed. The second and much better way to use Pyrocycloid is as a highest damage wins Bakugan. When opening on a Fire Fist, it can take another core from the field. So with your plus 6 damage Fire Fist and your plus 3 damage Green Fist, Pyrus Cycloid is at a whopping 17 damage. If you want to go even further beyond, you can take another plus 6 Fire Fist from the field, preferably one that's on your opponent's side so that you can deprive them of it, and then Pyrus Cycloid is at a staggering 20 damage. By just numbers achieved in base form, Pyrus Cycloid is the strongest damage focused Pyrus Bakugan in the game. While there are Bakugan from other factions that are pretty much the exact copy of Pyrus Cycloid, Pyrus Cycloid is the only one with the Pyrus faction, giving it the edge, since all the highest damage wins initiator cards are Pyrus, meaning Pyrus Cycloid doesn't have to worry about a specific partner being in its team. Well, this has been Zionic Blader with my worst to best of Cycloid from Bakugan Legends. What do you think? Do you agree or disagree? Let me know in the comment section below and if you liked the video, hit the like button. Or don't, I'm not the boss of you. But be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get uploaded. Blah. But make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get updated whenever I upload. Until next time, see ya. Now, if you have watched until this part of the video, here's a little nice behind the scenes thing for you. So right now, as I'm recording this, it's actually Friday, October 13th, 2023. Now, the vibes for this video might seem off because every other worst to best video that's been uploaded these last few months were all finished back in, I think, June or July. So, uh... It turns out that my original upload for the Cycloid video was wrong, and I accidentally deleted all of my original files for these Bakugan Worst to Best videos. I don't know how it happened. I mean, I I know how I accidentally did it, but I would have never done it on purpose because uh, 
you know, this these are videos that are still being uploaded. Or they're still being in the process of going live. So if something would happen to them, then I'd have to replace them. And uh, unfortunately, one of them ended up being the wrong video. So now I have to do this all the way from scratch. So it is kind of annoying, uh, especially since we're kind of like in this channel, we're kind of moving away from the Bakugan Worst to Best series and focusing on some other things. So, um, yeah, but anyways, that's some nice behind-the-scenes stuff for you guys who've been watching this long. But anyways, see ya.